example, um, again, this is just like a binomial. So this is literally just like the other problem. However, I want to show you guys a shortcut. Because as I mentioned, you guys can do the FOIL method, right? You could do first, outer, inner, last. Or you could do the box method, either way. But I want you guys to understand something. We, we want to start looking at special products. And when you guys see a problem like this, when you see the product is exactly the same, but one's negative, one has the difference, and one has the sum, that produces a difference of two squares. If you guys multiply that out, the middle terms are always going to add to 0. And I'll just prove it to you just real quick. That becomes 25. That's negative 15i plus 15i, and then minus 9i squared. It happens every single time. It produces a difference of two squares. So those add to 0. So in reality, when you see something like this, where it's exactly the same, but one's sub subtraction, one's addition, all you can simply do is multiply your first two terms, which is 25, and then multiply your last two terms, which is going to be a negative 9i squared. You don't have to worry about the middle terms, because you're going to know they're going to add to 0. Well, i squared is negative 1. Um, i squared is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 9 is positive 9, correct? So you get a real answer of 34. And that will become very, very important today.